I'm Natalie Dupree here for postandcourier.com and we have just a very special easy fast recipe today. It's cheese fondue and of course you can put fondue on maybe a Brussels sprout or even a little piece of broccoli. What I've got here right now is bread and you just dip it in and here you have this lovely little munchy thing for the family. Quick, easy, and just last minute. So let me show you how we go. First, you want to put your garlic, just a little garlic, a touch of garlic, and some white wine. And I, not a sweet one, um, I tend to keep dry vermouth at home uh, just to use for recipes like this when I don't want to open a whole bottle of wine, for instance. And then here I have two uh, kinds of cheese. I have Conte, which is the traditional cheese for, um, for making fondue. And I have a little flour here. So I'm just going to mix the Conte with the flour. That helps it a lot because um, just makes it stop separating and that's the real frustration. I know when I was little and I tried to make cheese fondue I couldn't figure out why it kept separating. So you just toss it with the flour. Meanwhile you've heated this up. You want to heat it but you don't want to reduce it. You want the volume of the wine in here, um, not lesser. And then you just add your cheese and you can do it a little bit gradually at first letting it melt and the exact recipe is in the newspaper and add just a little more and keep going until you have a nice melted mass. The second kind of cheese that I'm using today is Parmigiano Reggiano which is what I normally keep in the house but I didn't toss that very well but you'll do better but um, what you can do is use the traditional one, which is Emmentaler. It's just not one that I keep in the house. So stir it till it's melted. Have everything ready to go, your cut vegetables, or in this case, your lovely croutons, your cut bread, and make sure it's all ready to go the second you get this on, um, because you want people to be waiting for the fondue, not the fondue waiting for them. Serve a simple green salad, something fresh and light, and uh, then you'll have a nice meal. One of the tricks is that it will thicken as it sits. So you want to be able to put it back over the heat, and sometimes you have to add a little wine to put it back over the heat. Keep it as low as you can. Try not to let it boil too vigorously. Try not to let it boil. I'm Natalie Dupree, here for postandcourier.com.